This is how you play the bass part of flow. There's the main pattern. And there's the vacation when we need a break from the main pattern. So let's learn how to play that main pattern. Both hands are going to start in an E flat minor pattern. So go ahead and find that position in both hands and I'm going down pretty low. I'm not at the lowest I could be. I'm just one to the right of that. Make sure you have your notes right. You should have E flat, which is the two black keys. It's the one on the right. White key F and then all three black keys of the three black key group. Now, to play the main part of the pattern, both hands are going to play E flat, and while left hand holds, right hand's going to play fingers three, four, five. Do that with me. So together on E flat, and then right hand goes on to three, four, five. Now, the way that it sounds is like this. So it goes together three, four, five, together three, four, five. Try letting right hand flow through that pattern. One, two, <sighs> together three, four, five, together three, four, five. Right. Now you may notice that mine's sounding a little more blended than yours might be sounding, and it's because I'm using the pedal every time I play together. So if you have, uh, oh, I can't get my fingers to work because it's too cold. I'm gonna get some help. Okay, so if you have three pedals, it's gonna be the pedal on the right, and it's just gonna be your toes that use the pedal. Your heel stays on the ground, and your ankle kind of acts as a hinge for your toes. So go ahead and get ready to pedal. You can just put your toes to the side of the pedal before we start. And every time we play the hands together, your toes are going to come up and come back down onto the pedal. Let's add the pedal. One, two, and pedal, and pedal. Now that went by pretty quick, so let's try that together again. So since we're beginning, put your toes to the side of the pedal. Don't let your foot rest on it. You can do that in the middle of the piece, though. And get ready to pedal. One, two, together, and pedal. All right. Now for the next part, your right hand is going to move only, not your left hand. Keep your left hand where it is. Move it to an A flat minor pattern. And make sure you move to the right place. Your first two notes should be black keys, A flat and B flat, under your one and two fingers. A flat and B flat are the three black key group. They're the two on the right. Your three should be on white key B, and your four five should be on the two black key group, D flat, E flat. The left hand and the right hand are going to play together A flats. Now, if you look at your left hand, your A flat is under your two finger. So your left hand is going to play two, your right hand is going to play one, play them together. And then while left hand holds, right hand is going to go on to play fingers three, four, five. Does that sound familiar? It's because it's what we did earlier. We're just doing it in A flat now. All right, so go ahead and let that right hand trickle through that one, three, four, five. You might want to try it right hand by itself to get the feel of it. And then when you've got the feel of it, start both hands on A flat together. And let's put that together, <laughs> together. One, two, together, three, four, five, together, three, four, five. Remember to hold that left hand. Its only job is to hold that A flat. Let's do that again. Together three, four, five, one, two. <gasps> Together three, four, five. 
together through the fourth fret. Now, the same thing as earlier. Every time we play together, we're going to pedal. So get your foot ready to pedal. This time you can let your foot rest on the pedal so that it's ready because we're in the middle of the piece now. One, two, add the pedal. Pedal, pedal. All right, since that's very similar to the other pattern, same fingers, same foot action, just different notes, let's put that whole thing together. So put both hands back into E flat minor and practice moving your right hand between E flat minor and A flat minor before we start. Once you can get your hand moving comfortably, go ahead and try transitioning. Don't think too much about it. Trust that your hand is going to go where you need it to go and tell yourself to play those one, three, four, five fingers. Let's put it together now. One, two, and E flat together. Together, move to A flat. Back to E flat. Back to A flat. Now, if you need to pause the video, get that part together before we move on to the vacation, go ahead and do that now. But if you're ready to move on, the next part is the vacation. Now the vacation starts out in E flat minor the exact same way. So go ahead and get your hands in E flat minor. We're also going to do that first little pattern twice. The only difference is right hand doesn't trickle. It goes slower. It plods along. So it goes like this. And then it does it again. And then it stretches out even further. This is leading to something. Okay, let's do that together. One. Two, ready, all stretched out. Again, and stretch it out, stretch it out, slow it down. Now what it's leading to is this. Now this is the part where you get to be creative. Don't copy me, because I'm just doing random notes. I'm doing two notes in each hand, so I'm picking two. In my left hand, I'm just picking two notes that are far apart. I'm picking a fifth, or I'm picking an octave. Up to you. Again, don't try to copy me, because that's overthinking it. Just pick two notes that are far apart. In the right hand, I'm also picking two notes, but they're just black keys. So don't try to copy me, it's overthinking it. Just pick two black keys. All right, so go ahead and pick your first sets of notes right now because both hands are going to play their two notes together. I'm going to pick two notes in each hand, left hand far apart, right hand's just two black keys. You pick yours too, and then we'll play them together right now. Now, pick two new notes in each hand. Again, left hand's far apart, right hand just pick two black keys. Pick them, and play. Do it one more time for a third time. Pick them. Two new notes in each hand. Left hand far apart, right hand two black keys, and play. Now you might notice I was using some white keys. I was using that white key B that I was telling you last time in the treble part that if you wanted to you could throw in a white key B. That's the white key I'm using. Everything else I'm using black keys. Let's put that whole vacation together now. So start back in E flat minor, and then remember, once we start stretching and slowing down even further, that's where we get creative. Two notes in each hand, left hand far apart, right hand two black keys. Those are the only rules. And if it doesn't sound good, then just, you know, don't play those again. <laughs> play something different. Don't be afraid of bad sounds. One, two, three, four. Again. Stretch it out, slow it down, pick your two notes in each hand. Sounds like Minecraft. Alright, now that's the vacation. So if you need to pause the video and you need to get comfortable picking your two notes, again, don't overthink it. Just pick them. And if you don't like them, then don't play them again. But uh, Victor Wooten, he's a really famous bass player. 
Uh, it's paraphrase, but he basically said whenever he's improvising and he plays, you know, a bad note, he just keeps playing the dang thing until it sounds good to him. Because you really can't open up your mind like that. So don't be afraid of bad notes. All right. Um, so I want to give you a couple of ideas. If, if you're pretty good with the pattern... I want to give you a couple of ideas to make it a little bit different. Because after a vacation, you're going to return to it. So, instead of making the right hand go to the right every time, you could start on five, make it come down. a different mood. Another thing that you can do in addition to that, so let's say I want to move to the A flat and I want it to come down too. And again, I'm just using the same fingers I used earlier in the pattern. I'm just starting on five instead of starting on one. So I'm coming down. Instead of your left hand just playing A flat, play A flat octaves. Left hand on A flat octaves, and right hand doing that new downward motion instead. One, two. We don't typically do these four times, but if you want to, it's okay. I'm just doing them four times so you have plenty of ways to repeat it over and over again. Another idea that you can do, another variation, is this. changing my notes this time. They're going up like they originally were. I'm just making them twice as fast so it sounds like a river of trickling sound. And the way that I'm doing that, I'm just tapping my fingers faster. Let's do it together. One, two, ready, and go. Now, as I move to A flat, I can add another element, this one. So I end up doing this, when I do this faster, I ended up doing one, two, three, four times, right? But on the fourth time, I introduced a little step down from where my bottom note should be. So I did my fast notes. And then when it was time to do it a fourth time, I stepped down. I didn't change my other notes though. Give that a try. Find that step down. Don't change the other notes. And then you just go right back. And then branch away, step down. Let's try that together now. One, two, ready, go. Those are your ideas. So just to recap, you have your main pattern in E flat to A flat, both minor. You have your vacation that starts out in E flat, but it's stretched out. And then you slow it down and then pick two notes in both hands and do that a second time and then do that a third time. You also have variations that you can take with the pattern. You can change one little thing at a time to make it different. Instead of the notes coming up, you can start on five in the right hand, make them come down. You can also add an octave in the left hand for some extra darkness. You can take your right hand, make it trickle through even faster, flowing like a river. You can also let that first note step down right when it's about to repeat. And step down, step down. And those are your ideas. Happy improvising!